Hi, it's Vicky with Condi Systems Technical Support. I'm going to show you how to install your Dotrans uh, GX3300 for Dot Sublimation. Uh, first, I'm going to show you how to install the actual ICC profile. And this is uh, the install using a PC with ICC configurations. And your ICC profile is sent to you by someone in tech support here at Condi. And if you purchase your system here, you are entitled to a ICC profile for your uh, for your configuration settings. So this is an ICC profile install using a GX3300. I'm going to show you how to find your drivers and um, how to go about installing it. I'm using an IP address but uh, I'll kind of step you through installing using a USB configuration and then I will uh, add my printer using an IP address. So two different types of installs here. One USB for most people using a USB cable from your printer to the back of your tower on your PC or to a port on your laptop. And then adding a printer using an IP address would be a different configuration but uh, I will uh, that's how I will be adding mine, but the basics of getting the driver uh, is what I want you to understand, and then also uh, the basics of the install of the driver using an IP setting, and uh, for those people using a USB cable. And then I will walk you through the configurations of using a um, Condi ICC profile and how to set up your driver. Okay, and then the uh, the actual uh, software uh, configuration settings would be an additional video. So that depends on your um, on your digital imaging software. So three things: ICC profile, installing your driver, and configuring your driver. So let's get started. Uh, I have my ICC profile here, and it's going to say. Uh, GX3300 dot trans high quality. I'm going to right click, left click on install profile. And you don't see anything happen. It's just that quick. So um, you, you won't know. Just know that you right click and left click on install and it's installed. So if for any reason uh, you don't see the install option, you can go to uh, my computer, double click on your C drive, double click on Windows and um, scroll down to System32 scroll down to Spool and then left click on Drivers left click on Color and then you can copy paste or draw, drag and drop your ICC profile in here so that's a second way to manually add the ICC profile so now that I have shown you how to add the profile or install it, I'm going to take us to where we get the driver. So um, I'm just going to show you where the driver is, and that's going to be on the Condi support page. So if you go to Condi.com, go to support, go to Rico support, and uh, from here you're looking for a PC driver and you need to know what your bit system is. Is it 32 or 64? And you need to know what printer you're installing and you need to know what your Windows version is. So that's your... Um, to do that, if you're not sure, left click on Start, right click on Computer, left click on Properties, and you would see 32-bit Windows 7 Professional. You might see XP, you might see Vista and some of you folks using a 2000 uh, it would work as well so I'm going to X out of that now that I know what driver I need I'm going to come to 32-bit um, 3300 Windows 7 left click and then I would left click to download and save my driver so I can run it I recommend saving your driver and then running it from your PC uh, make sure that when you go to run this file that you have um, your inks installed, the printer turned on, and the inks charged. And to do that, you'd place the inks in the bay area to the right side front panel, uh, open the door, place the cartridges in the correct slot. They're color-coded and key-coded. 
and then shut the bay door, plug it up to an outlet, press the power button, and the fill time is about five minutes on the 3300. Uses half of the cartridge, so make sure you understand that it does uh, require a fill of about half the cartridge. So, and that's only on the fill, and then any cartridges after that would be new and would just uh, uh, remain full and you know would go down as you use them so there's only one fill and that's half the cartridge on the first install so again that's how you get your driver and once you have your driver uh, it takes a minute for that to download then you want to run it and so what you would have to do, my driver's already installed, but um, I do want to show you how to go about getting it. You would double click on this and it would take you through a um, install and you would just play along and you'd click run and it would download the files and come up and ask you uh, to accept the agreement and so forth and you would just agree and continue and then it would ask if you're going to connect USB or LAN. It's not asking you to connect, but it's asking you how you will connect. So at this point, you would click Next, and uh, it would ask you to turn the printer off. And so once the printer's ready and your inks are charged at this point, then you can turn the printer off and continue the install. And uh, for USB people, it will locate the uh, the driver it'll come to a point where it'll in download the files and then it'll tell you to plug up your USB cable or you'll connect directly into a port on your tower in the back please don't use a front port or hub uh, those are not as stable and then it would tell you to turn the printer back on okay so at that point the driver will install and uh, you would uh, click finish and continue on so um, that would be how USB people would connect so um, as you can see I'm just gonna click stop auto detecting because my driver is already installed so now I'm going to uh, minimize this screen now that I've shown you how to get the driver, where the driver is found, and how to go about installing the driver. So uh, now I'm going to go to my folder, my printer folder, where I'm going to locate uh, and uh, add my printer, my 3300. So again, uh, it's not in here because I have to uh, add mine using an IP address, which is assigned through the printer and there's a video on how to do that how to assign the IP address to the RICO in the menu uh, directly at the printer panel so um, for people using an IP address you know you can watch this part people using a USB cable this will not count for you so um, I'm just going to click in here and it's going to say add a printer and I'm going to go ahead and click add a network printer and um, I know my IP address so I'm just going to click stop and I'm going to add the printer using a TCP slash IP and I'm going to click next and now I'm going to type my IP address and uh, if you're installing this way you want to make sure that your um, connection is made at this point and your you have assigned an IP address. I'll click Next and it's going to ask me um, if I want to use the driver currently installed, recommended. I'm going to click Next and it's located it so it knows that it's a 3300. I'm going to click Next and then it's going to ask me if I want to share and I do not so I'm gonna click next and uh, I don't necessarily care if this is a default so I'm gonna deselect that and if I want to test the printer to make sure it's communicating I would do a test page but I'm gonna click finish 
and now I'm going to see my printer which is added to my printer folder and at this point um, we're at the uh, part where I show you how to do the configuration for the Condi ICC profile using the Rico and PC so I've shown you how to install the ICC profile and then I've shown you where to get the drivers and how to install using a USB and install if you're assigning an IP address so um, I'm going to right click we're going to learn how to configure your uh, settings for Condi ICC and um, if you're a Windows 7 user you're going to left click on printer properties if you're a Vista or a XP user you're going to click on properties I'm Windows 7 I'm going to go to printer properties and here is where I'm going to go to uh, add my ICC profile color management if you're an XP user when you click color management you'll see the add box already but if you're Vista or Windows 7 you will have to left click on color management one more time and you will drop down and find your uh, GX3300 and you're going to add the profile mine's already here but I'm going to show you how to do that click add scroll down and find your GX3300 and you would left click to add it uh, mine's already there so I'm going to cancel if for any reason you had more than one profile in here you would choose the manual I just go ahead and choose manual anyway because uh, it doesn't matter and then I'm going to set as default and then I'm going to left click on close I'm going to click on advanced left click on start printing after last page is spooled I want to choose that for quality issues and I'm going to click apply left click on general left click on preferences move it over where you can see it and now I want to change my paper type to inkjet plain paper I'm going to scroll down here not scroll down but left click on user settings left click on change and now I want to select use air diffusion I'll see a checkbox show up drop down where it says color settings color profile and turn it off come up to the top where it says uh, where I see my tabs left click on miscellaneous and I want to check print as bitmap and then I'm going to click OK and that's going to close this user settings box I'm not finished yet so I want to come over to my far right tab uh, I'm back on my printing preferences dialog and I'm going to left click on printer configuration if I are you are a 32-bit uh, or you have a 32-bit operating system you're going to see um, this uh, spool format if you're 64-bit you're not going to see it so I'm going to select RAW and I'm going to deselect reduce automatically to fit letter which uh, this setting would be in both 32 and 64 bit operating systems now um, I have finished in the uh, printer configuration side um, so I want to left click on setup and from here I'm going to save my setting and I'm going to call it Condi ICC. I'm going to left click on OK and now in my drop down I can see my Condi ICC settings. So um, in addition uh, if you need to change your paper size you could do that here. Keep in mind when you change your paper size then your setting um, may disappear and you would want to verify those settings again. Uh, if you're uh, changing this through your printer folder you definitely want to verify those settings again so if I want to create a custom paper size I would go to printer configuration and left click on custom paper size and I could create something like a mug paper okay choose my tray 
um, also um, choose my long edge, my short edge, and I have up to 10 custom paper settings I can save in here. I'm going to cancel out. And there's also an, an individual video on how to create custom paper sizes for the Rico. If you have more, if you want more detailed information about that, look for that video. And then I'm going to go back to setup. Uh, I am still on my Condi ICC, ICC setting. So I want to click apply and OK. Apply and OK out. And I am done with the configuration and the install of my GX3300 uh, driver. So uh, to continue on, you want to look for a video on uh, what your digital imaging software is, like Corel or Photoshop, to configure those settings for Condi ICC profile. Again, this is Vicky with Condi Systems Tech Support. And if you have any questions on anything I've just went over, feel free to call. Go to 2 for the first available technician, or you can speak with me. My name is Vicki, and thank you for your time.